welcome back to back. the craft to the craft parenting podcast. Podcast about two Cincinnati craft beer lovers with a parenting problem and um, <laughs> a, a loopy a sleep problem as well. <laughs> Definitely a sleep problem. Yes. Some of us got to work at four a.m. today. Oh yeah. And are still awake. Somehow. Some, some some of us also woke up the entire house in that process, so I did not wake up anybody. I went to sit in bed for five minutes before I got ready for work because I was in Elliot's room. <laughs> I'm Caroline, by the way, if we didn't say that. I'm Joe. Um and I go to move what I thought was Clara out of the way. And no, it's Lily. Yes. So I just go hang out on the chaise Uh and then in the process, actually, no, like I would have not been at home by this point. Um, but in the process of me getting ready, Joe is coughing up a storm. So he asked me to get him some water. So I get him some water. And when you texted me that Elliot was up, I would have already been on my way to work at that point. So I wouldn't have been helpful anyway. Mm Mm-hmm. I didn't, yeah. I didn't want you to be helpful. I'm just pointing out. I had, z- I was in Elliot's room. I had zero control over Lily ending up on my side of the bed. <laughs> <laughs> but I was very bummed when I couldn't snuggle on my side of the bed for 10 minutes. Everybody gets to sleep in my bed more than I do. Well. Because Elliot wants friends. We are here, dear listener and uh, viewer, and we are Excited to dive into another higher gravity beer vent calendar uh, beer, beer vent beer. And uh, for day five, what did uh, higher gravity give to us? A Christmas cookie ale. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> <laughs> you had it. What was I supposed to do? <laughs> so we are drinking. Or we are going to drink 50 West's Xmas Cookie Winter Warmer Ale, a malt beverage with natural flavors. It is 5.9% ABV. Yes, it is. Oh. <clears throat> what else? Their description is, if you could taste jolly, this would be it. Spiced ale brewed with ginger, vanilla, nutmeg, and cinnamon. So all the warming spices. This is That's- a stark contrast to what we drank. An undisclosed amount of time ago. <laughs> and, and, and as you can kind of hear, um, I am still, I still have a frog in my throat. It didn't go away in the last 10 minutes. Sorry, yeah. undisclosed amount of time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> However, um, I'm excited for this beer. I don't. I feel like we've bought this at least once, but I don't know. The packaging is a little different. It's more orange than I remember. It goes from. 50 West to 50 West. Yep. Because that goes from sea to si- shining sea. Ooh, I get some good spices off the nose. Now this is your turn to talk. Yep, I get nutmeg. I get cinnamon. And what else is there? All the spice. <laughs> <laughs> I get all the, like, all the flavors. There's, oh, like... Ginger, vanilla, nutmeg, and cinnamon. And the ginger there gives it, like, a little bit of heat or something. Like, it's got a little something-something in it, and that's the ginger. Yeah. Because okay. it's gingerbread. Yeah. And that's what is in gingerbread. It's yeah. ginger. Um, so it's, like, brown, but, like, a golden-y brown. Um, definitely can't see joe through it so it's a pretty opaque beer but not like super opaque and it's got a small call that like a light tan head yep it's a uh, very spicy on the nose like you said mm-hmm. get a lot of ginger on the tongue i think this would be really good with some of graham's christmas cookies Graham's Christmas cookies. Yeah, our friend Graham likes to bake. So um. he makes some really good Christmas cookies. Mm-hmm. He makes a Mexican hot chocolate something. Yeah, you gave one away to the Uber. I did. I was very nice. I was not an only child that day. 
So about this beer, um, that's basically it, right? Yeah, I mean, it's a good beer. I would definitely like to enjoy this during the holidays. There's a small chance that Brian and Graham will have it at the Christmas party. I don't know. I have yet to see a menu or they have menus. Yep. Yes. So so they <laughs> we're still a far ways out from the event though. So usually at some point, like a week or two before the event, the cookie list gets published. And then soon after that, the food list gets published yep. with pictures um, of at least like what the intention is for what the snack will be. And then at some point they also post the beer list. And it's usually really good beers. And yeah. we enjoy their hospitality. Uh, lots of um, craft beer. Because mm -hmm. ho mostly holiday ales and stuff like that. I want to say Brian is at 5,000 check ins on Untapped. I don't I know. It's a ridiculous number. I thought he reached that on ours on our show. Oh, he did reach that on our show. He reached a milestone on our I don't know. If I, it might have been. Or. I don't know. He is very adamant at checking everything into untapped. And when they go to a brewery, he gets a flight and he has Graham get a flight where zero of the beers match up. So he is guaranteed eight beers at a minimum with that brewery visit. Yeah. He travels a lot too. He does travel a lot for so work. He, he, so. he gets out. He travels. Yeah. I never know where he's going to be. Oh. I mean, he gets to visit all the breweries. Yeah. I'll like text him and it'll be like three days later. And he'll be like, sorry, I was in Austin for something <laughs> or like I was in LA Yeah. here. Now I can finally respond to you. Um, no, this is really good. Um, this goes really well with the weather because it just dipped below the twenties. My phone told me teens. for the last two days, <laughs> it is going to be unusually cold in your area tonight. Oh, thank you, Google. And I'm like, thanks. And then they open up one of the dock doors at work. And I'm like, ah, <laughs> it's so cold. Even down here in the basement, it's really cold. It is. It's better now that I've been down here for a bit. But when I first came down here, I was like, I'm frozen. I can't do this. I know. Yeah. It's not the warmest place I want to be. No. <laughs> I'm going to be upstairs. <laughs> um, in front of our fake fireplace. Yes. Um. So yeah, so 50 West um, does not have an about me section on their website. So that just means that we get to talk about what we know about 50 West. Yep. And, and mix stuff up. <laughs> hopefully it's right. And if it's not, either Truth Beer and Podsequences will correct us or they will make up even wronger stuff than we do. Um, and or we'll hear from 50 West. But 50 West, if you want to, you can like chit chat with us on podcast and... Tell us all of the things that we said that were wrong. Yeah, so they opened up a brew pub on Route 50. Mm -hmm. um, I have not been to it. I have driven by it multiple times. There's a check, the, the thumbs up. I don't know what I did. I did this. I, I don't know. There's a ghost in the computer still. We have oh not sorted God. that out. Okay. <laughs> um, Someone's trolling you. Potentially. So I have not been to the brew pub yet. You haven't? No, yeah. I've driven by it like it's closed a hundred times. Oh yeah, it's closed now. Sorry, spoiler alert. I can't go to the brew pub now. <laughs> so brew pub opened. I had a baby shower on that side of town. So Joe drove me to said baby shower and then asked a bunch of his guy friends to meet up with him at the brew pub. So he's got to hang out at the brew pub. It was our wedding shower. That was our wedding shower. That's what it was. It was a wedding shower. That is correct. It was 2015. <laughs> it was a wedding shower. Yeah. Not a baby shower. All my baby showers were on the west side. And also, I Hit the went... button. Uh, west side, west side. Thank you. Also, I went there before that for uh, the dumbest day of my life. You did, and that was before I joined you guys. Okay. So I have that never was in 20, been... That was in 2013. Yeah, I have never I been to the 50 West Gastro Pub, which makes me sad inside and outside. Um, but then it was in, so it was in this like little white house yes. that they turned into a restaurant slash brewery. Yep. 
And then eventually they bought the space across the street or they leased the space across the street. They probably bought it. Who knows? Um, they know. They got the space across the street. They put in some volleyball courts. They had a canoe. They have thing. canoe rentals. I think so they got rid of that. They no. might. I. It was still on their website, I think. They at least have a dock or something. Yeah. There was something on their website about canoes. There's a bike trail. There is a bike trail. Um, and there are like breweries along the bike trail. So like you can hit up a few breweries. Just make sure the first few breweries that you hit, you get low ABV beers to make your life a little bit easier. Mm-hmm. So they opened up the space across the street that was more of like a burger joint where they had all of these burgers that were themed on the different states that are along Route 50. And they closed down, sorry, the gastro pub across the street for renovations at were around the time of COVID. So like they intentionally closed the gastro pub to make it better. And then COVID happened. I, I feel like this is right. And then COVID happened, which made things totally wishy-washy. Um, but in prior to that, they had announced that they were going to open up a location in Chillicothe, which is also along Route 50, in about an hour and a half, two-ish hours away. So the location in Chillicothe ended up opening up a little bit later than they intended to mm-hmm. because COVID, but offers pretty much the same menu but they have jenny as their head brewer and she gets to make some beers all on her own um that are not like 50 west specific beers and then she does some collaborations with the breweries in chilla coffee aka jenny on the block which we have drank on this show yes um that wait i I just want to clarify they are 50 west beers they they're, are 50 West beers. They're just specific. They're just specific to Chilla Coffee. Chilla I don't know. Edition. I have. I also have not been to the 50 West space across the street from the Gastro Pub, which Joe has been to with Elliot, because we were going to go there for a parent for a parents day out or whatever, and I then been there twice. You might have been there. Oh, twice. You were there. When? We went a second time. I thought. Not with me. I have not drank beers at 50 West in Cincinnati. Mm-hmm. I have drank lots of beers at 50 West in Chilla Coffee. <laughs> <laughs> One of them I live much closer to. <laughs> make this make sense. Wow. Um, so. Joe and Elliot have been to the space across the street. Elliot loves the sand pit, which makes a hundred percent sense. No, we went to the, we went there before. I swear we did. We got a. Sh- I got Lily a shake. I don't think I was with you. So it was just me, Lily. Probably. Why? I don't know. <laughs> did you take her somewhere? I have to remember. I don't remember. <laughs> I do not recall having ever been to Fifty West in Cincinnati. I have driven by it numerous times because, as I said, when we were going to your aunt's house for Thanksgiving, I was basically an au pair for your cousins for like two weeks. (laughs) So I drove by that location a lot for those two weeks because they used to live in Milford. No, No, they lived in Marymont. They used to live in Marymont. But that was it was still when they they were still in the same house they're in now in Terrace Park. So, but they, since they had a bunch of stuff in Milford, I was driving to Milford, Marymont. They had a bunch of stuff in Marymont. I still drive to Marymont a lot. Um, I don't know. East side. I don't know. You, it, you the drove, east side's super weird. You drove to the east side and yeah. you drove around I, for some reason. They went to tennis lessons. We went and played at a friend's house. I got no idea. It was many moons ago. The kids are old enough to drink now. It's a little weird (laughs) i'm old but then i talked to guys at work today who one of them's been working longer than i've been a lot like has been working at this company actually no both of them have been working at this company (laughs) company longer than i've been alive and they're like you're a baby and i'm like 
I am when I talk to you guys. And then I talk to a co-op and I'm like, I'm old and you're a baby because I don't know half the phrases that are coming out of your mouth. Gen Z, you're weird. Every generation says that about the next generation. Well, I'm right. But yeah, we are right. Gen Z is weird. Bet. No cap. Bussin' bussin'. I'm. S- These are phrases that I heard on a daily basis from one co-op. And I'm like, what even is this? <laughs> um, so yeah, 50 West, um, they, they kind of transitioned from like high end uh, bar food to uh, like smash burgers, basically. Yeah. I mean, they're good smash burgers. Oh, yeah, they're really good. And considering the and fact fries. that there are like really good fries, there are like two steak and shakes in the greater Cincinnati area now. I think we're up to three because the one in Coleraine recently reopened. Mm-hmm. There's like not a whole lot of smash burger options for quick food in Cincinnati that I know of. Hit me with your best favorite with your favorite smash burger spot. Words are hard right now because I'm very tired. Okay. My brain is not braining. Well, I think we're just about done. So yeah. um Good beer at fifty West. Go visit them. They might be opening up a third location. I haven't heard about that recently. They announced another location, but it's not along fifty West, and I have feelings about that. It's but in like Mil- it's in like uh, Mason or something. Yeah, it's like Mason, which makes sense. But I am not happy about it. But I don't have to be the one that's happy about it. So. Yeah. Yeah, we don't go to Mason. <laughs> we literally live off Route 50. Yeah. And there, there's plenty of places here on the west side. Yeah. West side, west side. I mean, heck, put it in Indiana so you can at least protect. Harrison? Put it in freaking Harrison. Yeah. Well, no, I don't think 50 goes through Harrison. It no. does not. It like, put it in Lawrenceburg. And then it's not super far of a drive, but it's still on Route 50, and it's not, like, in Cincinnati. I don't know why I said it like that. I am. All right. I so have feelings. I am at Craft Parenting Joe. I am at Caroline Creates Crafts or Caroline's Creative Crafts. And we are the Craft Parenting Podcast. If you like this episode. Like. Share. Share. Smash. Subscribe. Ring that notification bell. Five star reviews. We're on like all your favorite podcatcher apps and YouTube. And if you don't like this show, listen to like 10 more and then tell us which one you liked the most and why. And if you stumbled upon this video, um, you may notice that this is day five. We five. Have, we have four other videos of us drinking beer and then an introduction video. Mm-hmm. Of what beer vent is and what higher gravity is. We should probably plug that at the beginning of the episode. If you have more questions, listen to episode intro first <clears throat> and then. Yeah. I'll, beer vent. We have a whole series about it. Um, and we're doing a beer every day for beer vent. We um, are posting about a beer every day. Transparency. Well, you can listen to the first episode and uh, learn all about it. Yep. Um, so we will see you back here tomorrow for day tomorrow six. 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 Yes. I hit the mic on that last one.